welcome to Watch It Paint It. This week I'm painting another zombie side massive darkness crossover from Hero Box set one, and it's Sylvia. So this is the the last crossover hero that I've got. Um and the good news is Massive Darkness arrived this morning. Are people getting sick of my Massive Darkness or do we want to see more while it's the, the latest hot new thing? Let me know in the comments below. So I'll start by showing the paints I'm going to use in this tutorial. I've primed her in Army Painters Colour Primer Leather Brown to begin with. Some of you might spot uh, there's some new paints there that I've never used before. So this is going to be a video showing some, some a, certain, a certain something that you've never seen. So stay tuned for that. So I'm starting off by painting on her face paint. This is using straight away the um, insane detail brush because uh, her face is so tiny. Uh, and I also did her pupils there. I move up to the just the normal detail brush to do the fur around the top of her boots. I'm going to be using several different uh, variations of ready brown. So starting with terracotta. I'm using the uh, regiment brush here so I can use the big one. This is um, quite a step up from the dwarf that I painted last week. I mean zombie sides figures are tiny but compared to that dwarf this felt huge. So I'm going to be using the necromancer cloak from the army painter set. This is for the greys that she has. So this is for her boots and both of her, um, her bracelets, her braces on, on her arms. She's also got a couple of belts that um, I'll use this colour for. I'm still using the, the regiment brush for all of this, even though those, those belts are very, very tiny. So uh, by all means, do use a much smaller brush if, if you can be bothered to switch. And I also just painted her axe handle there. So I'm going to be using Elf Green from the Zombie Side set, the, the very dark green from the Black Plague kit. And this is for all the green that she's got, so that's her headband her dangle cloth and these um, hair caps, these, the, the stoppers for her hair stops them growing any further I think. I'm going to be using bright gold from the set to do all of the gold. I'm using the detail brush here and that's just for her necklace and her two hoop earrings. Claymore blade, my light silver. Uh, detail brush again and this is to do all of her silvers. So she's got a little um, bracelet at the top of her arm there as well as her sword. All of that will be done in silver and her axe head as well. That's also nice and silver. I'm also going to be painting on each individual stud on her braces there. And that look, that already looked so so much better. So definitely recommend taking the time using a small brush and just catching all of the raised bits. I'm also catching her belt buckles there as well. So I'm going to be using bony spikes, which is a yellow, a dark yellow, a sort of browny yellow, and this is to do all of the the threads that you can see on her, her clothing items. So that's all the stitches up her, her leggings, and the stitches on her her top. So all of those, as you can see, suddenly all appeared. I'm also going to paint the the cross on her belt and the, the sort of straps around her boots just to give those boots some some detailing really. So next up's the next ready brown. This is Dark Flesh Tone by Vallejo and this is for her hair. So hopefully you can see it's just a, it's a slightly more browny red than the, the one that I used on her top. So just a different shade there. And then I'm going to be using the zombie shader, the light brown shader uh, using the regiment brush here to apply this quite generously all over the model and for the for this model I'm going as I've shown you previously I've used multi multi different washes for each color on this one I'm just going to use the single one all over just so you can get a sort of feel for how that would look obviously that took a lot less time than using multiple washes and having to clean the brush etc etc so I'm on to highlighting and I'm going straight back to the white again using the the insane detail brush and I'm just highlighting up her cheeks and um her eyebrow bones there and here I'm just highlighting the very edges of all the fur around the boot so leaving leaving the shader filling all of the, the recesses around that fur there so hopefully you can see that's already looking quite realistic as the, the lights bouncing off of it I'm going to be using leather brown here and that's just to highlight back up her skin so I'm going to be catching a jawline there uh, the f her forearm and her shoulders 
as well as each of her fingers and all of her fingertips. You can just catch a little bit of cleavage there as well, just to give some realism to her chest. And next up's the third Reddy Brown. This is Tan by Vallejo, and this is to paint in her, her trousers. Uh, I left these leather brown to begin with, as I thought that would give quite a good um, shadow shade effect. And then I'll paint up the, the tan on top, as you can see here. And as I was progressing through this, I just realized that I didn't like it. And while I was deciding what to do, the, the camera ran out of memory, as, as it does every video currently. So apologies for that. But what I did was I painted the whole of the tan trousers back in and reshaded it. And then I just ha will highlight those back up again. So just while uh, I was talking about that, we missed out on the elf green highlighting of all of the greens, just catching all of the edges with the elf green there. And now we're back onto the silver, uh, highlighting this back up. So just leaving the shader in all of the recesses along the blade and in between a hand and the, the sword, etc., things like that. And then just re-highlighting all of those studs that we did at the start, um, just catching the very edges just to give, give them a, a shine as though the light's hitting all of them. There's quite a few of those to do, so take your time. We're going to use Filthy Suit the Light Grey from the Army Painter, and this is to highlight all of the greys on her, so the, her boots. Uh, the, I'm going to do the very top of all of her belts very, very carefully, and I'm going to do um, one, a line along the, the axe there, so just as though the, the light's hitting the very top. I'm also going to catch the top and bottom of both of her braces. Uh, that, that's quite clear to see on the, the card that comes with the model. Um, that looks exactly like like she does on the card. Uh, don't forget to do the belt around the back as well. So here we're back onto highlighting some of the ready brown. We're using te terracotta, the, the base colour that I use for her shirt here. And I'm going to be applying this quite generously to all of the raised parts of her, of her top there using the detail brush here. Um, this will be the first of two highlights, I think. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply a, a smaller highlight after this in a brighter color. I'm gonna be dry brushing this terracotta onto her hair to give, give the final highlight on the hair. And just taking the insane detail brush there just to catch the, the very front hair. So I didn't wanna get too close to her face with the dry brush. Plus this is the bit that would be the brightest, the light hitting her face. I'm going to be using tan for the final highlight on the top. So again, I'm using the insane detail brush here and just catching very, very thin lines on the most raised parts of her of the top. So along the outside of the straps and uh, or, well, you can see on the model, it's got some, some raised lines. So I'm just catching a little bit along that as well as along the bottom of the, of her top there. And there's a few lines across the back of riffle riffles in her um, in her top there. I'm going to be using the same tan to highlight up her her trousers. That I explained before that I changed to tan and then reshaded. So just using the, the regiment brush here and applying this all over the top of parts of the trousers there. Uh, lots on her buttocks. I'm then going to mix in some probably about 50/50 white with the tan and just uh, add a a second level of highlight there to the very the most raised parts of her thighs and the, the middle of her bum and all of these creases in her clothes along the back. To paint between the uh, stitches I've had to move the model a lot closer to my face so apologies I had to stop there uh, so I could see a little bit better. So I'm going to be using bony spikes just to touch up all of those uh, stitches that I've just been painting so closely to and cut quite a few of them. Uh, using the insane detail brush here and just applying a, a little thin layer on top of where we'd painted this color in before just to give a highlight on the very edge of each of these stitches as well as along the boots there those straps uh, getting the same treatment so i'm going to be highlighting the green next the final level of highlighting this is elf green and combat fatigue uh, mixed about probably 50 50 maybe slightly more of the elf green just keeping it a bit darker and more realistic here i'm going to be very carefully catching all of the edges of all of this greens part so the edges of her, the cloth between her legs uh, the top and bottom of her bandana and then each of these sort of uh, 
bulges in, in all of the uh, hair pieces there. So as mentioned at the start of the video, I'm, I'm going to be doing something I've not done on a video on this channel yet, and that's going to be adding some blood. Uh, this was just because I found the silver a bit a bit dull, so I wanted to uh, lighten up the model as well as get a little bit of splatter on the, the trousers that I wasn't super happy with this time. So I'm, take a, I'm taking Crusted Saw here, and I'm applying it quite generously, generously to the edge of the blade, and then I'm sort of dragging that back up across the blade as though she sliced through something. So ho hopefully you could see what was happening there. I'm going to be taking Glistening Blood, which is one of Army Painter's sort of wet effect uh, paints. So this this gives the impression that the blood's sort of still fresh, and I'm using that to highlight the blood there, so on the very edges of all of those uh, blades. So with all my zombie side miniatures I paint the base black here so this is just me filling in the base and just adding the final touch to the model and there we go that's Sylvia finished so I hope that video was helpful I think she looks very good by the end especially considering the number of ready brown she was I thought she was going to look quite bland um, let us know if you like it below give us a thumbs up if you did I'm going to be starting painting my massive darkness um, game soon if you've already started come and show us what you've been up to on facebook thanks for watching